Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. If you are new, what we have on this channel is software engineering interview questions, run-throughs on how to solve them and how I solve them. And there are also videos on how to use different technologies. There's also extra content on my website to supplement software engineering interview questions. And it supplements in that it will include things as what I'm thinking about as I'm solving these problems and what mistakes I've made and what I'm doing to work on those mistakes. And yeah, I post those things because I think it will, I hope that it will help you all. And I also have my GitHub where all the source code on software engineering interview questions and the how to use various technologies will be there. And yeah, all of that will be in the link below. So if any of this sounds interesting or if you like watching my videos in the past, please, uh, yeah, the best way to support me is to like this video, to subscribe and share with people who find it interesting and definitely always leave feedback. It will help me improve and I would love to improve to bring you all better content. Without further ado, let's get into it. So today we'll be looking at this problem called copy list with random pointer. And we have a linked list such that each node contains an additional random pointer, which could point to any node in the list or null. And we want to return a deep copy of this list. And so here we see a couple examples and it says we need to return the copy of the given head as a reference to the cloned list. Okay. So basically with this problem, what we think about is the issue is when we have because we have a random pointer, it might point to something, a node that has not yet been created. And so that will make things a little bit more difficult. And the other thing is that when we create the next node, it's also possible that node has already been created by random. And so how we can solve this is we could have a hash map where the key is the old node and we'll hash the old node. And then the value will be, let's say the node hasn't been made yet, then we'll create a new node and that, and we'll update it as we build the rest of the list. And for each node that we go to, we do the same process, the process being checking if the node exists in the hash map. If not, then we create the node if so, then we update the node. And so we do this for the next and the random and the current node itself. And so one thing that we have to keep in mind is an edge case is that we have a potential where the given link list is empty. And so for that, we'll handle it with the default dict where the default dict uh, takes in a function that returns if the key is not found and we will return none if the if that is the case, because we'll not, we're, we will not be putting none inside the dictionary if uh, that is the given link list. So to import default dict, we take that from collections and we import default dict. Now we can use it and we first make her equal to head. That way we have a pointer and yeah, we need to have head remain in the same point but we need cur to point to head so that we can move through the link list. And we need head to remain at the same point because we need to return that at the end. Now I make our hash map. Yeah, this way, if the key is not found, the hash map will return none. And now we have to iterate through the link list and if the current node is not in the hash map, then we know we can make that node. So we are hashing the current node. Then we look at the node definition in the node class definition. And so the first thing we feed in is the value and we will initialize everything to none because we'll be handling it next. So if cur dot next, if it's not equal to none, then we need to do something. If it is equal to none, we've already initialized it to none here. So there's nothing we need to do. 
and we check if cur.next is not in the hash map. So pretty similar reasoning and logic. And if it's not in the hash map, then cur.next will be added to the hash map. Otherwise, uh, well, if it's not in the hash map, then we'll add the new node. And if, uh, if it's already in the hash map, then we'll be able to, in the new node that we created, since it's a deep copy, we will be able to update the next node. So we go to hash map. And because we're operating on cur and we want to change next, then we can look in the hash map and we know that cur.next already exists. And it's similar reasoning for uh, random. And so we say if cur.random not equal to none, cur.random not in hash map, cur.random, we will hash that. And then we'll make a new node where the cur.random.val is the value and then make everything else none. And then we know that cur.random is made, so we can update for hash map of cur. The random will point to hash map cur.random. And then after we update, we create the new node for the current, or if it's already created, then we will update the next and random. So the current node has a deep copy, then we move to the next node. Last thing we do is return the head. All right, let's check this out. Okay, so it looks like default did lamb or I see lambda is spelled incorrectly, so I gotta be a little bit more careful. In the case that I yeah, okay. Let's run the code, see if it works. All right, looks like there's no difference there and see if there is any other, well, that's the only test case they give us, ah, it's fine. All right, cool, great. Looks like it's submit and all right. Yeah, also did some on the fly refactoring. looks like it's pretty good, faster than 97.94. Space is not so good. Okay, so let's take a look at the runtime. So we have n nodes. Let's say we have n nodes and we are iterating through each of the nodes in the linked list. So that will take O of n time. And then things in the hash map are constant time access. So each time we look for random and next and also check cur. Those will be constant lookup. And we do it n time, so it's still uh, O of n for runtime. And then for space, we're storing every single node. So space will be O of n. Now, that's interesting. I wonder how other people are, are storing less than uh, all of these nodes. One thing I'm thinking about potentially it could be cur.random is equivalent to another cur.next, so maybe I'm stor storing repetitive nodes. Yeah, that actually doesn't make sense. Well, that's something I'm not too sure about. So if you, anyone has any ideas, please let me know in the comments below. Like, what can I do to speed up the space complexity? Yeah, and if I find out anything, I'll let you guys know on the website. Uh, yeah, so please uh, look out for that. And yeah, I hope uh, each and one of you has a wonderful rest of the day. And I also hope you all learned something and had as much fun as I did. And I hope to see you all in the next one.